Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we will learn about how to calculate electricity bill of your house. Okay, so in order to calculate the uh, uh, electricity of your house, you should understand how it is calculated. Usually the electricity bill is calculated in terms of units. So we will understand some of the background of like how it is. So as you all know, the electric equipment in a house consumes power and produces the required energy in terms of heat or electricity. So electricity is a source which is used to get heat or energy, heat energy or light energy. Using this, we are going to use for our daily needs. So in order to manage the consumption of power, it is good to understand how much the electrical power is consumed by the electrical equipment. Okay. So depending on the power consumption of the device, the electrical bills is calculated. Okay. Depending on the electrical bills are calculated. So what is the formula for calculating the units? So first let us understand how to calculate the unit consumption of electrical equipment. So total electrical equipment in your house consumes each of the units and then the total uh, units is calculated. So let us understand how it is calculated and let us understand what is the formula used to calculate the units. The electrical bill is calculated as per number of units. So below is the formula which is units per month. So what are the amounts of units per month? It is the kilowatt kilowatt into kilo kilowatt into hours. So amount of kilowatt consumed over a period of hours is one unit. So in our case, it is since most of the equipments are in bad, so we are dividing it by thousand. So the formula used to calculate units per month is watts into hours divided by thousand into thirty days. So if it is thirty, then it is for thirty days. If thirty is removed, it is the amount of amount of units consumed for a day. So in this formula, units is the units consumed, watt is the rating of the used appliances. And hours is the duration of time the appliances used over a period of time. And 30 is the period of days which we are they are going to calculate. So let us understand how these uh, devices are calculated and we will calculate individual how the units are calculated with the individual equipment. So as you all know units per month is watt hours divided by 1000 into 30. So let us first start with a water heater. So water heater, what is the uh, in any electric equipment, there will be nameplate details on that. What is they will be given? What is the rating of that equipment? For electrical heater, it is two kilowatt is a rating. So as per the formula, so watts is two thousand kilowatts. So two thousand watts into hours. Hours is a number of uh, hours the equipment is on or off. On. So it is two hours and over a period of thirty days divided by ten. So if you calculate this formula, then units, then it will be 120 units. So next comes the fridge. Fridge is about 300 watts. So 300 watts of a period of eight hours into 30 days, you will get to 72 units. If it is 30,000 kilowatts, then it will, since if it is, uh, if it is a kilowatt, if you want to convert that into kilowatt, 3,000 uh, divided by, uh, it will be 0.3 kilowatts. That's why we have taken uh, 1000 at the denominator. So it will be 72 kilowatts. Why 8, eight hours is because uh, the fridge will consume power when the compressor is on. On all, all other cases it is off. That's why we have taken 8 hours. Okay. So then the next uh, is the fan. Fan is of rating 80 watts for a period of 10 hours and for a period of 30 days it consumes 24 units. So one fan consumes 24 units, so therefore the three fan consumes about 72 units. So similarly washing machine. The washing machine is of rating of 300 watts and it consumes, it is on for 1.5 hours, that is half an hour for 30 days, then it is 4.5 units. Why 0.5? Because the washing machine is on for a time when the uh, washing machine is on and all other things it is off. So the next one is tube lights. Tube lights is for example, tube lights, LED lights, it's a 20 kilowatt. So 20 kilowatt for a period of five, five hours into 30 is about three units. And if you have a five tube lights in your house, then it will be 15 units. So right now I have taken ideal condition of that tube lights will be uh, uh, there for five hours from evening to night. But in a typical uh, urban area, since the sunlight is not there, if you are staying in the apartment, it will be about 10 to 12 hours. But for the ideal condition, I have taken is five hours. 
okay so the laptop laptop or a tv you can take it as a laptop or tv it is about 65 uh, watts for a period of 10 hours uh, and it will consume for 30 days it consumes of 19.5 hours 19.5 units so similarly the iron the iron box is about 1020 20 watts 1020 watts divided by 1000 into over a period of 0.25 hours then we for a 30 then we'll get a nine days this is how the individual units of equipments are calculated using this formula all these things are done by with your uh, meters which are installed in your house so the duty of the meter is to calculate the number of units consumed by each electrical equipment connected to the meter so let us uh, assume how the total power is calculated so what they do is uh, what our meter is does that it adds up all the consumption and it gives you the units consumed for that month by the by the readings like previous month's reading and with the present month reading the present month readings needs should be uh, subtracted with the previous month's reading so the water heater consumes 120 units fridge consumes 72 units the fan consumes 72 units so you can see here which are the equipment which consumes more power so washing machine consists of 4.5 units so led consumes 15 units laptop consumes 75 units iron consumes 9 units and the total consumed is 312 units with this table you will come to know which of your equipments consumes more power and you can act upon them and make them a minimal usage or in, in, uh, get a better rating uh, device so that your units comes out and then you can have a control on your number of units consumed for your time so once you can calculate the consumes how the uh, tariff will be calculated how the uh, charges will be applied so let us understand charges per unit so for a particular units we are consumed there will be a different charges applied so this is one of the typical example of a bascom which i have taken so over this case you can see that up to 30 units the uh, charged is 3.75 per unit so up to 30 units of your calculated consumption we will get 3.75 that will be 112.5 rupees if you take example of 70 units means up to 70 units it will 5 point so next 70 units means from 30 to next 70 units 30 means uh, so 30, 70 minus 30 is uh, 40 for, for 40 units they will charge about 5.2 units from the units more than 70 units it will be 212 units for next 212 units it will be 6.75 rupees so, so the total consumption is 7.5 units so this is how you uh, they calculate the units so if you consume less power less units this uh, the amount which you are going to pay at the highest lab will be less that's how you uh, in, uh, reduce your electrical bill use, uh, using a better equipment or uh, using the power whenever it is required and switching off the lights which whenever it is not required so total power electrical power bill is uh, total power consumed plus fixed charges and plus taxes so I will explain about the fixed charges and taxes in the next next slide so this is a typical example of electrical bill which you get for monthly so this is how we have got all the things so what is a fixed charges in order to have a electrical power consumption from your any utility bill they should they will give a load for example if you are lighting bill then you will get a one kilowatt if you are having uh, equipments like uh, washing machine fridge iron box and other things which are of higher rating then we have to go for a larger uh, uh, load that is three kilowatt so for us it is taken as three kilowatt so the fixed charges for a monthly thing will be a 200 rupees if you use the current electricity or not a fixed charges of 200 we have to pay to the utility level in case if you use it or not so next comes the units of charges as per the consumption which i already explained you in detail like how the units are consumed and this is the total net so once you get this uh, uh, fixed charges and roll charges then you'll, they'll calculate and gives you the fixed charges and there will be term taxes applicable uh, along with this bill okay this is how the electricity bill is calculated so i would like to inform you one thing with this uh, things like so in a cricket it is tell that run saved is run scored similarly energy saved is energy produced so please try to use the power has effective has a way try to switch off the lights or if you are not using uh, uh, any of the machines switch off the machine so that your units rates comes down so that your electrical bills are reduced 
with that you can enjoy your life and also you are giving to the nature cause like you are not helping the nature not to burn more coal to produce a more amount of energy which is required hence with this i would like to conclude that take a care of your electrical equipments and usage of your power wherever it is required try to avoid the uh, usage of high rating high rating equipment and then have a good eco friendly environment thanks for uh, this uh, uh, this presentation for hearing this presentation hope this uh, is a uh, useful for you if you like this channel if you like this channel please subscribe and hit the bell icons to get the latest update from my channel please encourage and support so that i can make such type of videos in future thanks and share with your friends and relatives thanks and have a nice day bye